guys welcome back to this channel nice to see everyone again and for today's video we focus on the preparation of your carboxylic acid and in this short video we will only learn two ways to prepare carboxylic acid and we actually have come across both of the preparation method the first one is your strong oxidation of primary alcohol make sure the keyword over here must be strong oxidizing agent and also you must be using only your primary alcohol we'll look into detail of this the second method to prepare your carboxylic acid is oxidation of aldehyde so both of this method will actually produce carboxylic acid okay and you realize that both method is actually using oxidation as the reaction so let's look at what are the oxidizing agent that you can use in this preparation of carboxylic acid where you are going to oxidize your primary alcohol and also you are going to oxidize your aldehyde so looking at the strong oxidizing agent in your syllabus we have learned two strong oxidizing agent so the first strong oxidizing agent that we always come across is your potassium dichromate in acidified condition with the presence of heat so you have your K2Cr2O7 H plus heat. Your second strong oxidizing agent that we always use is your potassium permanganate KMnO4 H plus heat. These are the two oxidizing agent or these are the two strong oxidizing agent that we always use in this semester. And this will also be the strong oxidizing agent that we will use in this video. To prepare your carboxylic acid okay so let's jump into the first preparation of your carboxylic acid the first method is your strong oxidation of primary alcohol the condition must be strong oxidation the primary alcohol right now must undergo strong oxidation to become carboxylic acid let's see how this thing happened so that is my primary alcohol. The carbon that holding OH right now is only holding one alkyl group. So that is your alkyl group. Knowing that your alkyl group is your carbon group right now. So the carbon that holding OH is only a primary carbon. Therefore, it's a primary alcohol. Your primary alcohol right now undergoes strong oxidation by using KMnO4, H+, and heat. And what will happen in the strong oxidation of primary alcohol? Simple. The OH will be removed. The H will be removed. When the H and OH removed, we replace by double bond O. And one of the hydrogen, the hydrogen that's still bonded to the carbon that holding the OH, we still have one hydrogen. The hydrogen will also be oxidized and become OH. So what is actually produced? The R group will remain unchanged because nothing is changing over here. The carbon will still be there. The carbon that holding the OH will still be there. But the OH and the H has been removed, replaced by double bond O. While the H, the remaining H over here, will then also oxidize to become OH. And that is how your primary alcohol undergo strong oxidation to produce your carboxylic acid all right so we will still focus on the carbonyl carbon the carbon that holding the oh group and only primary alcohol can undergo strong oxidation to become carboxylic acid simple so let's look at an example for this strong oxidation of primary alcohol so as always, we focus on the carbon that holding the OH. This is the carbon that holding the OH. And obviously, guys, this is my primary carbon. Therefore, it's your primary alcohol. This entire group over here is your alkyl group, which is your R group that will have no changes that you will just copy back later on. And since it's a strong oxidation, what will happen when it's an oxidation? You will then react with your strong oxidizing agent, whether it's a KMnO4 or K2Cr2O7, with the presence of H plus and heat. Okay, that is your strong oxidizing agent. 
And what will happen to your primary alcohol? The OH that attach and the hydrogen that attach will be removed, replaced by double bond O. The H will also be oxidized to become OH. And what will produce? The alkyl group will remain unchanged over here, so you will recopy back the entire alkyl group with no changes because nothing has changed towards the alkyl group. So the alkyl group remain unchanged. The carbon that holding the OH will also be there, but the OH will be oxidized to become double bond O by removing the OH and the H. And one more hydrogen will be then oxidized to become OH. So that is your carboxylic acid that produced from your primary alcohol undergo strong oxidation. Simple. And it's exactly the same as what you have learned in the topic of alcohol. Okay, simple. And that is how you get your carboxylic acid. Let's move to the second and also the last method to prepare carboxylic acid, which is the oxidation of aldehyde. Again, it's something that you have learned in the topic of aldehyde. It's exactly the same as what you have learned in aldehyde. So let's look at how aldehyde can be oxidized. So obviously, this is my aldehyde. You have the presence of C double bond O attached to the H where the position of C double bond O is on the last carbon. So that is my aldehyde, okay? And this, as always, that is your alkyl group that will most likely have no changes. And right now, we are using strong oxidizing agent. We are using K2Cr2O7 with the presence of H plus and heat. And what will happen, guys? Simple. We will try to oxidize the aldehyde to the maximum we can. The double bond O is already at maximum. So we only focus on the hydrogen that attach to the carbon that holding double bond O. We only focus on the carbon that holding double bond O. So this hydrogen will be removed and also replaced by OH. And that is the oxidation of aldehyde. The double bond O will remain unchanged. The R group will remain unchanged. And the product that you will form over here will be something like this. The double bond O remain the hydrogen oxidized to become OH. So you can see over here, that is your carboxylic acid that being formed from your aldehyde that undergo strong oxidation process. To be honest, you can use PCC in inert solvent over here, but it will be slower. Okay, since we are getting the same thing, why are we using the mild oxidizing agent? You can straight away use the strong oxidizing agent since it's faster and getting the same thing. All right. So you can always use the strong over here to produce your carboxylic acid from your aldehyde. Simple. By that in mind, we only focus on the carbon that holding the double bond O. The rest of the thing shall remain unchanged and you just recopy. Okay. So let's look at an example. We will focus on the carbon that holding the double bond O. That is the carbon that we will focus on because you have your double bond O and the H. That is your aldehyde. And since we are doing oxidation, so we will react this with, let's say, KMNO4, your strong oxidizing agent with the presence of your H plus and heat. And what will happen? It's an oxidation, so the thing shall be oxidized. The double bond O shall remain unchanged over here. The hydrogen will be oxidized, will be removed and become OH. And the whole alkyl group over here, your alkyl group will have no changes. Therefore, the product will have exactly the same as what you have in the alkyl group. Because there will be no changes, recopy the whole thing. The carbon that holding double bond O also having no changes, but the hydrogen oxidized to become OH. And you can see that that is the presence of your carboxylic acid from your aldehyde by using oxidizing agent. To be exact, by using strong oxidizing agent. It's exactly the same as what you have learned in your aldehyde. Okay. As a conclusion, 
your primary alcohol must use strong oxidizing agent to become carboxylic acid. Okay, while well, your aldehydes, which is your C double bond OH, can also use strong oxidizing agent or actually can also use mild oxidizing agent. But since the strong is faster, we always go for the strong oxidizing agent. Again, to produce the same thing, which is your carboxylic acid. So for this semester and this preparation of carboxylic acid, you only learn two methods. One is the strong oxidation of primary alcohol. Second is the oxidation of aldehyde to become your carboxylic acid. And that's it for this short video. And I hope it will help you to understand on how to prepare carboxylic acid. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you have any question, drop in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.